Gosh, somebody uh, on a forum asked about uh, telegraph keys missing from the picture. Well, it is missing from the picture, and uh, I don't know where it is. The key I normally use was an old cheap Nye Viking in a cast aluminum thing that I had bought and I did all my Morse code on. Uh, but I do have some keys. I, had, I bought an old J38 back in Miami 1984 that I restored. I had this all polished up, looked like gold. It was just a display piece. Years up on the shelf, it got all dusty. <clears throat> and then back in the day, I bought an electronic paddle, never used it. Uh, I banged most of my Morse code out on a key that I can't find. Now, I just moved into this room from another room, so chances are I have misplaced that Morse code key someplace. But interestingly, that somebody would ask about Morse code because <clears throat> in the day, 1984, when I was first licensed as a ham in 4MRN, that's all I did was Morse code. I never even talked on a mic at all. And uh, <clears throat> and when back in the days when we did contacts with Morse code or voice, we used to do what was called QSL cards. <clears throat> you would exchange kind of a postcard just to kind of prove that you had a contact. And back in 84 and 85 when I was really active, we didn't have the computer. There was no internet. So this was really interesting stuff, you know. So, uh, and this was so exciting when I used to get these cards, uh, just to see different walks of life from different places. Here's one uh, from the Big Apple, New York. This one was interesting. I sort of remember this. Uh, this was a high school, junior high school in New York, and I think they were teaching, oh no, this one says sideband, so that must have been voice. Hi, Steve. Sure was a pleasure to meet you during our confusion hi welcome to the class da 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 yeah so that's interesting here Puyallup Washington which is right uh, down the road here well not right down the road about 30 miles away never heard of it. we used to make fun of that when I was in Miami nobody could pronounce that it's pronounced Puyallup I know it well that's where the big ham fest is a couple of good gun clubs there uh, this was CW stands for uh, continuous wave or Morse code this was 1985 uh, but I'm going to go through these real quick because some of these are, are real uh, prizes for me. A lot of these are stateside from Miami, from Florida. But there were some nice overseas ones here too. So uh, I'm going to go through these really quick here. You can tell what region they're from. Uh, look at all of these here. This was just unbelievable. Uh, yeah, all Morse code. All done in Morse code. Fours. I'm looking for uh, Texas foreign ones here, uh, CW here, right, 1985, October 15th. Uh, this was just really fun stuff. Back in the days, I couldn't wait to drive home from work to see what cards would be in my uh, mailbox. Uh, California, California from Miami, uh, this was a big thing. Uh, look at that. There was no computer, so everyone kind of to bang their addresses out on a typewriter or handwrite it. No email. Uh, Bolton boards weren't even big back then. You had to be really geeky back then to have a Bolton board dial up. But uh, just a bunch of these. I don't think I even categorized all of them. Canada. This was a big thing. When you talk to Canada oops, uh, from Miami, that was uh, a really, really interesting uh, stuff here. This was December 85. Uh, let's see, FT-101, CW, see this was Morse code, CW, me, Steve, Joe, uh, Miami, uh, Canada, there's another Canada one here, uh, yeah, I'm just getting, I had a, like a 20-some year hiatus from ham radio, or, or shortwave port, or HF, the low band frequency portion of it, so, got back in August, another CW contest, this was back when the bands were wide open, uh, this is my previous call sign, KB4PED. Uh, that was my novice. That was five word a minute. I'm licensed as an advanced class. Back in Miami, back in 1984 and five, they had a code requirement. You had to do five word a minute, or 13 word a minute, or 20 word a minute to get to the top, Six. the top license class. I was studying for my 20 word a minute. I was pretty fluent in 13 word a minute. Uh, that's what all this was. By another one in Canada. Uh, Steve, many thanks, da 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 da, Morse code, CW, October 85, boy, this was just good stuff. Um, I haven't done any Morse code since I've got back into this stuff here in October, but that's soon to change. I got all new test equipment, new radios, 
Some of you guys have followed me on a forum, you know that. Oh, Argentina. This was before I even went to Argentina. I went to Argentina about 10 years ago on a high volume dove shoot, dove hunt. And uh, where was this at? Uh, I don't even know how far Argentina is from Miami. Probably not that far. Oh, there it is. That's, uh, oh, it is. A Cordoba. When I went to Cordoba, they actually called it Cordoba. Cordoba. I'll be darn. CCW. Morse code. Julius or whatever. Uh, 1985. Yeah, that was, uh, excited. I get excited about this stuff here. Uh, oh, look at this. West Indies. Some of these were really hard to get QSL cards from. You had to bribe them with with uh, various uh, monetary things. This guy sent me two of them. He must have forgot that he sent me one card and he got another one. Uh, IRC coupons, international relay, uh, relay coupons, or reply coupons. You can bribe them with that. Uh, see, uh, Nicaragua. Oh, look at that. Uh, come on, if he... Uh, yeah, things were very different back then. Thanks for the call. Uh, I have fun with a ham radio. I am from Minneapolis, work uh, as a missionary. Look at that. He works as a missionary in uh, Nicaragua. Uh, 90 watts he talked to me on. Wow. Yeah, man conditions are really good. So uh, I'm trying to squeeze out as much power as I can. Uh, that thing puts out about 850 watts. I'm going to be getting a 1500 watt amplifier soon. Uh, just to get myself heard. So let's blow through here real quick. There's one book. Uh, and E. So I'll go through, sort these out. Oh, and I used to get letters from people. Uh, typewritten letters. Look at this. Uh, there's my address in Florida. Uh, by was Dyton Kendall by Miami Zoo. It's Christmas time. I thought I'd drop you a line. Who does that, right? This is a piece of uh, typewriter paper banged away on a typewriter and I went and scribbled on it the test of pen. Gosh. Uh, da, 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 da. Richard, that, that's that's something. This is uh, priceless. Uh, there was my cards I used to send out. Some of my cards got returned. Didn't get the address correct. Here's something from Spain. Uh, looks like a letter. Let's see what's in here. Hi to my friend Steve. Excuse my English. Very bad. I write Spanish. December 85. Wow, yeah, this, I don't know what that was about, but as you can see, I was really active in Morse, International Morse Code, I guess the forum is saying here. I didn't know any other kind of Morse Code, but uh, actually, technically, it was called International Morse Code. That's how I learned it as a, I mean, I learned of it as a little boy. Uh, where's this one from? Australia, look at that. This looks like some sort of a homemade card. Australia. Uh, just just lots of fun stuff back in the days. But the, the uh, bands are really opening up. So here's a couple that got returned. It's got the wrong address or whatever. Uh, other miscellaneous stuff that didn't make it into the uh, the book, photo album, so to speak. I'm going to go through these stateside ones. Uh, I think I have some other rare uh, DX. They call it DX, distance, anything outside of the United States. So... I'm scanning through here real quick. Pennsylvania. Pitcairn. I actually know where that's at. That's up my old stomping grounds when I was born and raised in Pittsburgh. Uh, Rhode Island. Uh, there's a lots of awards in ham radio. I never went for those. Worked all states. Worked all countries. Worked every every combination of stuff you can come up with. Uh, yeah, look at this. Some cards. People just... Who does this? Uh, old card stock typed it out on a typewriter because they didn't have really computers and printers back then. Friday afternoon. Look at that. California. Santa Cruz. That is just priceless. Get that little sticker back there. I take pride in that kind of stuff. That is just something else. That's memories here. Friday. That's all I got. Friday. No date, no year. Probably came in an envelope somewhere that's maybe up front. Who knows. But anyway, I'm going to move quick here. Oh, this looks foreign. Where is this one from? This looks like a real postcard that he had made or something. Uh, boy, I don't even know where that is. Gosh, how embarrassing is that? I have to look that up. I don't know. But, obviously I worked them. Uh, New York, New York, Coriopolis. That's my brother, I think. 
M3EWJ, Mike Jost, yeah. Got him in the ham radio. St. Petersburg. Uh, uh, okay, this is another Canada one. Let's see if anything's on the back. But some of these foreign ones had really nice stamps. That's what I like. I'm going to get this light over here. Some of these stamps are really nice. Uh, VE3. I don't know where that's at. SM7 ORK. I don't even know where that is. I should know that. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at this. Uh, Sweden. Sweden. But look at these stamps. Really nice stamps. Oh, he put the stamp on, but it never got postmarked. This one must have came in one of those envelopes that was in front of my photo album there. Priceless. Another one. Uh, where the heck is this? Spain? ROS? God, I'm so naive. This one must have came. Maybe that envelope we saw from Spain is where this one came from. Uh, 1985. They write their dates and, and months backwards. CW, Morse code, continuous wave. That was on 15 meters, 21 megahertz. 15 meters, I remember, was rocking. That was the band back in 84 and 85. Uh, okay, here we go. We're getting some good good DX stuff here. What is this one? Oh, man, shiny, glossy. Uh, is this Venezuela? Wow, yeah, Venezuela Radio Club. Oh, my, look at the stamps on this. Venezuela. Wow, this is priceless. Look at that. 45 cents. I love these stamps. I don't know if you can see that. Wow, that's really nice. And uh, 599 CCW, Morse code, 15 meters. Wow, I haven't been on 15 meters since I've gotten back in. I've got to get an antenna up on 15 meters. I got so much catch up to do here. So what is this? Landshire. I'm not even sure where this one is from. Is that England? It's got to be England. Wow, from Miami to England. 